If I'm waking up at four o'clock in the morning and instead of opening the Bible, I'm opening my iPad to watch TV, I feel like that's an addiction. I feel like we need to sit myself down and have a little face-to-face -face chat because that's not okay. That's what I did this morning. We all know the new year's coming up, 2023, and for the past like good six, five years, there's been the trend of like new year, new me, and that has been going on for a while. They've always been trends, but they've never been like real established parts of people's lives. But I'm here to make that change. It is gonna teach you basically everything you need to know on how to actually complete your goals and new year's resolutions before the year ends. And I did a little bit of research so you didn't have to. The foundation of this video is going to be on self-discipline. I used to think that motivation was supposed to get me through everything, my work, life, school, everything like that. I thought it was just when I had the motivation, that's when I was supposed to do something. But no, motivation does not get you through everything and self-discipline is what separates hard workers and really just the lazy people. The lazy people being the everyday people and the hard workers being like the top 10%, top 0.1%, you know, the top people, and what separates the two people, I feel like, is self-discipline. And the definition of self-discipline is the ability to control one's feelings and overcome one's weaknesses. The ability to pursue what one thinks is right despite temptations to abandon it. And that sticks out to me because I recently read some type of paper or something, and it was talking about how, as humans, we are really weak-willed and we do not have a strong resistance to temptation. The definition of self-discipline goes in so much to what actually makes us humans that it is one of the hardest things to actually obtain. Now that you know what self-discipline is, you need to know what your temptations are and what your actual goals in life are. And those are two very different things, although they can get intertwined and mixed and confused, and I think that's why it's important to separate those and actually know the details of each. To know exactly what your specific values or goals are, there are some questions you need to ask first to understand yourself better. Is this activity going to bring me short or long-term fulfillment? Do I like what I'm doing? Is this activity worth my time? Why am I doing this activity or this thing in the first place? Is there value in this activity? If not, where do I need to shift my value? By asking yourself these questions, it lets you know where you're putting your self-worth, your value, your identity in, in the first place, and if those places are good, grounded, stable places that are going to benefit you in the future, that you enjoy doing, that's worth your time and not just a waste of time in the first place, and maybe even benefit others. So I'll be using my personal goals and values and what I'm working on for this year. I'll answer a couple of these questions myself. The first one, is the activity going to give me short or long-term fulfillment? I know for a lot of the things, one of my biggest problems in terms of temptation is media. So social media, watching TV, spending my time online, doing things that I don't need to be doing at all. Just wasting time, going shopping, going online window shopping. I don't even know how that's possible, but it's possible. It's definitely something that's only bringing me short-term satisfaction, um, and in the long run, it is not helping me towards what my actual values and goals are in life. So to answer this question really quickly, is there value in what I'm doing and where do I need to put my value if there is none? Number one, I think there is little to no value in wasting my time on media and watching TV and things like that because I'm not really learning anything. And then number two, where do I need to put my value? It needs to be put into my values, my real values, my real goals. I've already figured out what this is. You'll also figure out how to know what your values are. No matter what your problem is, it's going to help you create and build habits that you can implement into your daily life. Now that we kind of know what our temptations are and what our uh, values are and move on to the next step, which is eliminating distractions, eliminating your temptations. It's a whole lot easier to not be tempted by something when the temptation is not there in the first place. Um, the only difficult part about this is to get up and actually delete the temptation from your environment in the first place, from your situation. For me, it's social media and TV. It's a little bit difficult because social media is part of my job, quote unquote. It is a job because I get paid. <laughs> How am I supposed to give it up 
and totally delete something that's already implemented into my life. Another one, like some of the TV that I use to watch are things that I learn, or it might just be something as simple as I'm gonna watch this drama because I wanna learn two words. <laughs> I'm gonna take away two words from a 16 hour drama. You know, I can make up all types of excuses, but at the end of the day, they are still just excuses. You don't always have to, in every single case, totally get rid of your temptation. Maybe you can put some restrictions on it. Let's say your temptation is your family. In that case, you're not going to remove your family. <laughs> But you will maybe remove yourself from that scenario or you'll try to get your work done before you go home so that that is not even a problem. Now I want to get to finally the nitty gritty, the good part, how to actually set the goals that you are going to complete in the future. My number one tip is to make sure you have set clear goals. And obviously, of course, they can fluctuate. They can be a little bit broader because maybe you don't know exactly what you want to do. As long as the goals are clear, you are going to be able to uh, do the rest of this process. So once again, you're going to want to ask yourself some questions to make sure you know what your goals are. What experiences do you want in life? What have you once loved? What is stopping you from doing that thing that you once loved? Or what's stopping you from having the experiences that you want to have in life? If failing wasn't an option, what would you do? Also, what's next? So pretty broad-ish questions, but as long as you think about these questions and write down some answers, so let's say for the first one, I'd be like, hmm, what have I once loved? Oh, uh, well, I know that I learned Chinese and I really like that. I learned Korean and I really like that. Um, oh, I did Model UN once. That was really fun. I really enjoyed that. Hmm, I think I did a wall class once. That was pretty cool. Mm, well, I do really love God, so that's really cool. That's where I got basically the answer to the rest of my questions. So one of the most important things I can tell you, if you get nothing else from the video, get this. If you want to have self-discipline, it needs to be in something that you love. So those are the questions you have to ask yourself to find out what you love, what your goals, values, blah, 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 blah. I think those are some really good questions to start the process off with. And then now you want to have somewhere to write this stuff down, whether it's online or in a journal, um, on like some type of Excel sheet or a Google Doc or I don't know, it could be something really creative or something really boring, it really doesn't matter as long as you have somewhere to write it down so it's set and stable and that you can remember it. Also, you want it somewhere where you can see it kind of, you know, daily-ish, you know. So I used to have like a mini one right on my wall, but I made a new one and it's now the background of my iPad. First, let's get into how to make one. So basically, what you want to do is write down the biggest dreams you could ever have. Like the, the, if you had a perfect life, what would that look like basically? Uh, where would maybe, where would you be living? What would you be doing? What, it, what would be your job if you had one? Maybe if you would have a family or think about places like that and kind of make your dream scenario of your life. And then you kind of break that dream life down into some main goals. I have three main goals um, out of my dream life. And those three goals were kind of broad but still clear law un christian educator because i don't know exactly what i want to do in each of those fields i know those are the types of fields i want to work in but then you take that biggest dream you split that up into some big goals right and those are some huge goals that right now i feel like i can never accomplish being part of the un general assembly but the next step is you take that goal and you break it down into even more sections. And then you take those goals and you break them down into more sections. And then you break them down into more sections. So small that they are literally maybe achievable the complete next day. So for example, law. If I want to go into law, into that field someday, I'm going to need to be either certified or I'm going to need to take the bar exam, right? And so for that, I feel like I need to receive pretty high grades, have a good study routine. So I wrote, receive high grades, create a study routine. Um, I wrote, take pre-law college courses and find an interesting field of law so I can specify what type of law I wanna do. So in college, I'm probably going to need to know more about law and that's what I'm probably going to need to learn and kind of study. So I wrote, finish applying to my colleges because I need to do that if I want to get into college. And then I need to find a specific field of study 
for the type of law that I want to do, right? And then I need to make a proper budget for college to make sure I can even afford that. And for that, I need to make sure I'm receiving scholarships. It breaks law up into two sections, then it breaks the two sections up into four sections, and you could keep going down from four to eight, to eight to 16, to 16 to 32. I hope you get what I'm saying. You take your biggest goal that you could ever dream of doing and break it down until they're really small, achievable goals the next day, the next week, the next month even. Through that, you, number one, are giving yourself more motivation and more momentum because of, if you wanna go scientifically, the dopamine that you're getting creating for yourself when you complete a task. By breaking those up into very small goals that you can achieve, that you can actually see yourself achieving, it's also a lot easier to have a sustainable routine in the first place when you start small and then go bigger because it not only gives yourself more confidence but it gives yourself more motivation which makes it easier to do the things that you love and when you're doing the things that you love you can live your best life that is pretty much the basis for the whole plan foundation and why i said you're not really making a plan you're making habits because you're going to keep doing these tiny little things and it's going to keep you on a timely structure a timely routine and that's how you're going to get this type of self-discipline this is how you're going to grab a hold of yourself and keep yourself in check make sure that you are celebrating a little bit along the way each time you complete a task no matter how small no matter how big and it is also just a really good thing to make sure that you're giving yourself an incentive to look forward to no matter what your main goal is this is a really great way to just start getting it into your daily routine you want to make sure that you are getting up in a timely fashion so i don't know how early or how late that means for you but make sure you wake up at that set time every single morning this is how you start to get that routine because waking up is the first thing you do and yeah that's pretty much everything that i needed to tell you if you want more content from this beautiful round skin girl then make sure you subscribe down below hit the like button comment something you learned or maybe a goal that you're setting now that you know about this cool little hack, plan, thing, habit, that's it. I'm Sophie, I'm Sophie, bye!